School Specialist for Queen Anne's County, and I have the honor of uh, celebrating and recognizing farm families at the Queen Anne's County Fair. We have two noteworthy farm families this year. One of them, which is the Patterson family, um, outside of Chestertown, a uh, large dairy farm, and has been involved in dairy for the past many, many years. And we would like to uh, introduce them to you. They'll be recognized Wednesday night of the fair at 6.45. Please come out and uh, show your appreciation for the dairy family that we're recognizing, which is the Charlie and Marley Patterson family. Welcome. Thank you for having us in your wonderful farm operation. Um, we're very honored to be here with you today and to talk with you about your family and your operation. Um, Charlie and Marty, let's go back a few years to before we have all the members of your family with us today. Um, let's start with you, Charlie. Can you tell us a little bit back when you grew up? Did you actually grow up on a dairy farm and were you in this area? Actually, I was born in New Jersey and we moved to Maryland Oh, I guess it's about 49. My parents moved outside of Cambridge to a small farm, mm -hmm. and then in '58 we moved to this farm. My parents moved to this farm. So this was your yeah. actually home farm. Home farm. I I was 10 or 11 when we moved here. I was Chad age ah. when we moved to this farm. Interesting. Uh, now, did you milk know cows when you moved here? We had a small herd, about 20 cows. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. Kind of floated in and out there for a little while. But, right. Now, now, how many acres do you have on this farm, and, and were you growing traditional farm crops then, like wheat, corn, and soybeans, or? Yeah, we grew hay and wheat, corn, and soybeans, and small fields, though. I mean, this was a 200-acre farm, and then from there we had developed into more, more tillable land or more land. So roughly how many cows were you milking at the time when you were, when you moved up here from Cambridge? <laughs> About 18 or 20. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which was probably an average yeah. size herd. That's, right. you know, over the years we've heard yeah. that an average size herd on the farm was 20, 25 cows. Yeah. 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 Marty, let's go back to when you grew up. Were you from the local area? And no. did you grow up on a farm? No. Um, <laughs> I grew up, I grew up in Wilmington, Delaware, outside of Wilmington, in the suburbs. Um, only knew about 4-H from relatives that lived in Ohio. So my experience with animals was either at a petting zoo or at the zoo. So I was not involved with anything to do with agriculture. How interesting, and now you've got this <laughs> numerous number of head. And uh, Charlie, how many head do you have here on the farm currently? Well, we're milking about 300 head, and if you count calves and everything, it's close to 600 animals. Wow, so you've come a long way, Morty, in the yes. last yes. few years. Yes. <laughs> Tell us about how you met. Uh oh, there must be an interesting story there. <laughs> I came to teach on the Eastern Shore um, special education in Denton. And um, Charlie has a nephew that was in my class. And we didn't know that at the time. But um, for some, his mother, Pat. Um, my sister. His sister, I'm sorry. Um, mm -hmm. Pat drove the school bus for, for these um, children for this special ed class. And um, one day she couldn't do it, so she got her bachelor brother to, <laughs> um, to drive the, um, the bus that day. And um, that's how we met. So I assume that you were taking the children to put them on the bus and thought, hmm. uh, He brought, yes, uh, yes, that's, that's exactly how it was. So, um, and I think Pat had, his sister had, a lot to think about it too. You so know. you had a little matchmaking yes. intervention little there with the right. bus ride. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice, nice, interesting. Um, now, what? When did you get married? I mean, were you? Was it an instant, you know, <laughs> attraction there? Yeah. I mean, did it take a little while, or we were uh, seven, months after seven, seven, eight months after we met. Love at first sight, right? Yep. <laughs> my part, I don't know. Yeah. So then, did you move here to the farm with? Yes. Um, were, you, were your parents still living here? Or? Um, I had a big farmhouse my parents lived in at that time, and uh, they wanted a different house anyway, so they built a small, small house, and we took over the large house. Great. Right. Remodeled and remodeled and remodeled. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, tell me about your family that you have currently. We have three grown children. Mm -hmm. All are married. Um, our oldest son is Charlie, and um, he's married to Sherry, and they have five children. Um, some of them are here, Dylan, Chad, and Ethan, 
and there is a set of twins. Um, Samantha and Aaron. Aaron and Samantha. So, um, and the four of us work the farm. Mm -hmm. The two Charlies are the, are the main um, people involved. Caretakers. And, yes. <laughs> and Sherry is very involved with all the other bookkeeping and, and, and talk about your own kids. <laughs> well, I was just going to talk about the fact that that's what they did on the farm. Um, yes, so our two other children, we have a daughter, Cheryl, and she, her name is Cheryl Hill, and she is married to Trey, and they live in Rock Hall, and they are, he is a green farmer in Kent County, and they have two children, mm -hmm. Taylor and, and Clay. Clay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and, um, and our youngest son is David, and his wife is Lacey, and they live next to us over on another farm. Michaela Mason. And <laughs> their Thank you, Ethan. <laughs> and their two children are Michaela and Mason. David works for Hoover's and is also a pastor of the church. So you also have a lot of members of the family that are still intricately involved in other farming operations, yes. whether it be equipment dealership, grain farming, or whatever. Right. And I know that Sherry's very involved with a lot of young farm Daddy, activities and so forth. So um, there has been a very challenging industry over the years with the price of milk and the price of grain going up and the price of milk going down. And we had a very tremendously challenging wet spring this year get, trying to get stuff planted in the last two years we've had a terrific drought. What keeps you in the dairy industry? Charlie, how about you? Yeah. You're, you being a senior member of the children, uh, but you're probably more involved with the dairy operation than any other of your siblings. Um, I don't know, we enjoy doing it. Uh, but uh, we're not smart enough to know when it's not <laughs> fine. I guess you just keep going. You're used to doing what you're doing every day and uh, enjoy doing it, so you keep doing it, I guess. And dairy is one of those industries that sh is a passion that you either love or you don't. Exactly. There's no middle. You gotta jump in with both feet. You can't put your toe in. You know, it's, yeah, you get too much invested to half do it. Right. <laughs> so you go big or you don't go at all, basically. <laughs> Sherry, tell us about your involvement and how you met Charlie. Oh gosh. <laughs> we met at college. We both went to Delaware Valley College in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And I grew up in Pennsylvania and my family's all from about 45 minutes southeast of Pittsburgh. And I spent more time down here uh, on the shore than I did at home because <laughs> we, we lived in Mechanicsburg in the center of the state and then my parents moved back to Western PA when I went to college. So I did. I, I, Spent more time down here than I did at home. Two hours to get here. here and five to yeah. go the yeah. other way. So, so you, as well as your mother-in-law, jumped in with both feet. Yeah, yes and no. I, my um, grandparents and aunt and uncle had cows. So oh, okay. when we, what, I grew up in Mechanicsburg, so there were four of us, and um, my mom would send two of us to my grandmother's, and we'd spend a week at my grandma pools and sell corn on the roadside, and then we'd end up a week at my aunt's house and actually go and show cows and or help out not really showing but cleaning up and right everything doing the leg so, work yeah <laughs> doing the leg. <laughs> so. all right boys how about you all what's your responsibilities on the farm or do you help on the farm or are I you do. just going to say that you help on the farm oh, a little bit <laughs> a little bit Ethan tell us what you do on the farm yeah. nothing nothing <laughs> well someone told me that you have only Holsteins out there, and someone told me that you want to get a different kind of cow. What kind of cow do you want to get? A Jersey cow. And tell me why you want to get a Jersey cow. To show. You want to show her at the fairs? Yeah. Did you try showing this year? Yeah, with ginger snap. With ginger snap, and we saw her earlier in a little clip that we had, and how did you do showing ginger snap at one of your first Holstein shoes. Good. What place did you get? First. First? That's pretty good. <laughs> and Chad, you're the oldest of Charlie and Sherry's uh, children. Tell us about Ginger Snap and your first experience. I understand you were first time showman at this recent Holstein show. And how well did you do? I got first place in fitting and showing. That's great. And what are you planning on doing with Ginger Snap? Showing her at the Queen Anne's Fair. You're going to show her at the Queen Anne's County Fair? I think everybody should come watch your show. I think you did a fantastic job at the last show. I think they should come back and see you again. Because he was when he kicked 
He's gonna, he's gonna <laughs> kick my That's good. <laughs> Dylan, how about you? Do you think you're gonna try to show an account? Next year. Next year? Good, good. Um, Charlie and Marty, what do you think some of your biggest challenges have been over the years from when you started here and you got married and till, till now? What do you think? What do you want people to understand is different with dairy farming than it is traditional grain farming? Probably the number of hours they can't put in. Mm -hmm. and Seven tell, days a week and all that. You know. So tell me a little bit about that. How about Christmas Day? <laughs> Still milk on Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to deliver a calf. Yeah. Sometimes. That was a big, big challenge mm -hmm. early on. That you don't necessarily just marry the guy. You marry his business. That's right. And um, there were times that we couldn't go places, or we, you know, we couldn't plan ahead to do anything because. Originally, it was just Charlie with the cows, and um, we had one full-time employee um, when the kids were little. Right. And, um, so there had to be two people here, pretty much. You just don't know. take off and go on vacation? Yeah. No. If you did, I went on my own with the kids, and mm -hmm. he stayed home, or we went between the hours of 9 and 2.30. <laughs> <laughs> so what time does your day start? 4 a.m. What time does your day end? 10 p.m. Oh, when I hit the bed, uh, <laughs> 10 30. 10 o'clock, 10 30. And it's not one of those where you start at 4 and break at 12 and take a couple of hours off. <laughs> it's all day. I mean, it's whether you're Unless milking. Unless it rains, I guess. <laughs> yes. Unless nap, I nap when it rains. <laughs> Once in a while. Yeah. But you didn't nap a whole lot this spring. No. You don't want people to no. think. <laughs> no, I just watched it rain. <laughs> What's, what do you think? has been the most successful thing in your family. What are you most thankful for? The family. You know, grandkids and everybody living fairly close. I mean, all our children, our three children are within half hour ride up here. Mm -hmm. yeah, you get to work and you don't have to travel. I mean, you, you work and then you can walk and see your kids. Or, well, actually, they should walk and see me. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, it's, it's right. You can be you know, a full-time parent day, and a full-time You don't have to travel for a couple days to work. Yeah. You know, yeah. Sherry, what do you think? I mean, you've uh, been, you been married to Charlie. How long have you been in the family? Married 12. Do you need to ask me? <laughs> 12, no, 12 years. It's been 12 years, years this weekend, Sunday. actually. Oh, yeah. anniversary. <laughs> and, uh, no, it's family. It, things are tough and hard some days, but well, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Yeah, that's, that's a yeah. wonderful thing to be able to say is that you work with your family every single day, all hours, all day, and you're happy and you're thankful and you're joyful to be with your family. That's quite an accomplishment. And Charlie and Marty, you both, I think you should be very proud. I know your whole family. You have wonderful children, wonderful grandchildren, and you're um, a perfect example of a noteworthy foreign family that we're going to recognize and you're well deserving of that and I'd like to say congratulations and we look forward to um, maybe someday celebrating and uh, recognizing the grandchildren as noteworthy Patterson family also. We look forward to that. Thank Anything you. else you want to give us a final note on? How about a thought we want to leave everybody with? Just drink milk. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>